So at 16 years old, I worked out how to hack McDonald's and it wasn't for a free Big Mac. Now mind you, I was interested in magic and amateur radio, so I worked out how I could take over McDonald's drive-up windows remotely. So when customers would drive up to place their order, they get me rather than the guy inside the McDonald's with the headset. So you can imagine at 16 years old how much fun you could have. Where I was was actually across the street in a, in a car. I was kind of out of view from anything, but my radio, since I was a radio hobbyist, my radio was quite powerful. It was five watts. That would easily overpower those very low power headsets they gave employees at the time inside the McDonald's. So customers would drive up, I'd take their order, I'd say, oh, you're the 100th customer today, please drive forward, your order's absolutely free. But my favorite is when the cops would drive up, I'd go, hide the cocaine, hide the cocaine. So the manager of this mm -hmm. McDonald's runs outside, you know, he's looking in the parking lot, he's like kind of looking into the cars, doesn't see a thing because I'm actually across the street. And then eventually he walks up to the drive up window speaker, bends over and peers inside <laughs> as if somebody's hiding in the speaker. And of course I couldn't resist, I key down my microphone. What the hell are you looking at? And the guy flies back about 10 feet. So hands down, that's actually my favorite hack. <laughs>